happens if Elsa and Anna leave the Icy Kingdom and live in our real world? <laughs> Let's see how the princesses would change. Watch the amazing makeover of the sisters in our new Lalalu video. First off, we need to print out a picture of Anna and Elsa. You can download the template from the link down below. The contours aren't defined enough, but we'll fix it now. Trace the lines with a black pen. Start with shoulders and arms. Carefully trace each finger. Trace the legs along the outline. Move on to the face. A princess isn't a princess without makeup. Yeah, Elsa will have eyeliner in our real world. Elsa looks different with this stylish haircut. Now do the same with Anna. This messy haircut really suits our princess. Now we can move on to coloring. Take watercolors and get down to business. Slightly dampen a brush so the color isn't very rich. And color the body using a warm beige shade that looks like skin. Leave the protruding parts of the face light. Add shades with a beige pencil. And add some dimension to the body. Now let's dye the hair. Color the hair of this young lady with an orange marker. Lightly define the eyebrows. Add pink lipstick. Of course, we can't do without freckles. It's time to take care of the clothes. Color the top with a violet marker. Shade the underpants with bright blue. Let's color Elsa so she can support her sister. Paint the body with watercolors. Add dimension to the face and the body with a slightly darker pencil. Make the eyes blue like ice. And do a cold makeup look. Purple eyeshadow and a violet lipstick. Add some blush to the cheeks. We'll leave Elsa blonde and trace her hair with a yellow marker. Shade the top with blue. A monochrome underwear set is always stylish. When the preparation is over, we can start cutting the doll out. Use small scissors. It's way easier to cut out small details like fingers or hair with them. Now separate Anna from the paper background. The girls look amazing! <laughs> Now we are turning into fashion designers and stylists because we need to pick out outfits for the sisters. For Anna's sundress, we'll need flower patterned paper. Fasten the doll with tape and trace her body with a white pencil. Remove the doll and sketch out a neckline, straps, and the bottom. When the sundress is done, cut it out. Try the outfit onto Anna. Bend all the fasteners. Apply dots of glue and add pearly half beads. Cut a pocket of a suitable size from different flower patterned paper. Place it onto the sundress and trace with a black marker on the edges. Let's move on to high socks. Trace the legs on a sheet of purple cardboard. Draw on fasteners on each sock and cut them out. What color should we take for the shoes? White sneakers are versatile and can match any outfit. Apply white glue and attach them right onto the socks. Draw on lines to be shoelaces with a purple marker. We get a stylish outfit. In the end, decorate the hair with a flower wreath. Take patterned paper with different images. We'll need flowers. Draw on fasteners and cut it out. Trace the outlines with a marker. This way the flowers will make the overall style. Wow! Great! One look for Anna is all done! We make a skirt for Elsa from polka dot paper. Put on the doll and sketch out the waist. Mark the length near the ankle. Now draw the wavy bottom and folds so it looks puffy. Trace everything with a black marker and draw on fasteners. Cut out the skirt and try it on Elsa. Let's make a top. Draw a voluminous top. Trace with a marker and cut it out. 
Turns out that tops with open shoulders look good on Elsa. Make shoes and socks. Trace feet on see-through and thick decorative paper. Add a heel and draw shoes. Cut them out along with the fasteners. Score bending lines with an awl. It turned out very stylish and elegant. Sketch out a headband on see-through paper. Cut it out and trace it on suitable cardboard. Now we just need to cut through holes to hide the ends of the headband in the hair. It holds up very well. Add lines with a marker. Well, Elsa definitely has good taste in clothes. The outfits of the sisters turned out so girly and spring-like that there isn't even a single thought about the icy kingdom in their heads. Nowadays, everyone has to have at least one pair of jeans in their wardrobe. Trace Elsa's body on blue cardboard. Add a belt and a silver buckle with a marker. Add shade and a pocket with a blue marker. Let's move on to the sweatshirt. Sketch out the shape, the length of the sleeves, and the neckline on paper with a geometric pattern. Elsa can't wait to see her stylish outfit! Let's change her hair! Draw a braid on white cardboard. Define strands with a gel ink pen. Color it the same way as the previous hairstyle and make the hair tie blue. We need sneakers to match it. Trace her feet and add little details. Cover everything except for the soles with blue glitter glue. Cut and glue a few silver straps on top of the socks. Now we just have to cut everything out. Done! Glue the braid to the sweatshirt. Bend all the fasteners and a new outfit is almost done. Add a chain with metallic acrylic paint. Elsa will perfectly fit into any fancy party. Let's DIY an outfit for Anna. Draw a silhouette on checkered paper. We'll have a cardigan on top. Mark the line of the skirt and a collar. Hmm, it's lacking some colors. Let's add some contrast. Make the top black. Now draw a cardigan on purple cardboard. Time for a try on. Let's add dimension with a marker and add bright buttons with yellow acrylic paint. Now let's DIY the shoes. Trace the outline on pattern paper. Draw thick soles and shoelaces. Cut them out and put them on. A thin belt with a metallic buckle will complete the skirt. Attach a love sticker to a turtleneck. Cut a choker from glitter tape. Let's pick out handbags for our girls. Cut suitable handbags from magazines. Perfect! Elsa and Anna love their stylish outfits. But you can't do without a dress because you can't wear jeans to a theater. Trace the silhouettes of the dolls on white watercolor paper. Both dresses will be long. But Elsa's dress will have long sleeves and Anna's will have a cut on the skirt. Firstly, apply some water with a clean brush and then add some color. We'll do the same on Anna's dress, but it'll have a few colors. It'll be a transition from purple at the top to a scarlet red bottom. Draw on tights and shoes. Now trace both dresses with a black liner and add a belt. Move on to decorating. Apply white glue to the neckline and sprinkle it with blue glitter. Decorate the bottom and the folds the same way. Decorate the waist and the sleeves with white so it looks like frost. The rhinestones shine like diamonds. Even a princess's heart will melt when she sees this dress. For Anna's outfit, we'll need to add a few holes with a decorative hole puncher. We use a background with leaves as a template. Sprinkle glitter onto white glue. It matches the dress really well. Add fasteners and cut it out. Wow! 
Today, we DIY'd a few awesome outfits for the sisters. Hit the thumbs up if you'd want to be friends with Elsa and Anna in real life. <laughs> Click on the bell and subscribe. Lalalu makes the most fantastic ideas real.